puting ketotohanan puting ketotohanan puting ketotohanan puting ketotohanan puting ketotohanan maligaya ang pagdating sa aking series which is called puting ketotohanan at ang ating topic ngayong gabi ito ay Eskwelahan. In schools in the Philippines, the entire educational system is fucking fucked up. Yes, I said that. And yes, that is my truth. And yes, I am fucking right. Ang pagpasok sa school ay hindi na nakakatuwa. Ito na yung nakakapagod. At tayo lamang ay pinipwersa. Tayo ay napipwersa lamang sapagkat maraming ekspektasyon. Maraming... Oo, marami ekspektasyon at maraming 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 marami pang ekspektasyon sa mga kamag-anak, sa mga kapamilya, sa mga kaibigan, sa mga kasapi, sa mga ka-teacher, sa mga ka-principal, sa buong Pilipinas. Maraming expectations. Nakakapagod ng pumasok, ngunit wala ka namang na, natututunan na may apply mo sa buhay mo. Tulad ng pagbabayad ng tax. Tinuturo ba natin ba yun sa atin? Pagbayad ng tax? pag apply ng trabaho? Pagpapagawa ng bahay? pag save ng money? Like the stock market? Tinuturo ba yun? Like emergency... Emergency... Things like CPR and... Basta yung mga... Ano, medical emergencies, do we know what to do when we have a family member in the brink of death? Do we know what to do? No, because we are not fucking thought, we are not fucking taught a single thing in school that matters in real life. We are taught the Pythagorean theorem in which you have fucking no idea that you will never ever ever remember when you're fucking 30 years old and dealing with fucking life. Napakahirap ng buhay. Dadagdag pa ang matematika. Dadagdag pa ang sensya. Dadagdag pa ang marami pang ibang subject na hindi naman kailangan. Hindi naman talaga siya mga kailangan, no? Yung skwelahan kasi natin ngayon, we are not thinking... We are not imagining... Parang it's too old, masyadong matanda. I don't know if dahil yung mga tao sa DepEd ay masyadong matanda. Like Briones, masyado na siyang matanda. I don't know if it affects the curriculum or the things that they want to instill in our minds. But I'm sure as hell that I'm not gonna need to remember the chemical compositions and the elements and the compounds of the fucking periodical table if I don't even know how to fucking pay taxes how to fucking save money how to be successful how to like ang daming tunuturo sa atin na hindi naman kailangan we don't have any choices like Buti sana if we are to have an amplitude test in which we para ma-identify kung saan tayo magaling. And we will pursue, pursue that career, pursue that, study that skill and develop it. Like, pwedeng, pwedeng ganun. Pwedeng bigyan nyo naman ng boses yung mga kabataan na... Because I'm not contented as fuck with our educational system. Like, hindi naman... Sabihin mong natutuwa ka. Natutuwa ka? Na mga tinuturo sa'yo equations na hindi mo naman gagamitin in the future. Gagamitin mo if you were to be an engineer. But do you plan to be an engineer? Do you plan to be an architect? Do you plan to have something to do with math? No, bitch. They don't even... I'm not sorry for the profanity because I've warned viewers about profanity. So yeah. Pero yung educational system natin, it's a big no for me because 
I'm not contented. I am not satisfied. I am not fulfilled. My needs are not fulfilled. And my thirst, my my curiosity is not it's it's not satisfied like you're supposed to teach us things like what to do in an emergency what to do if there it were have this a real life emergencies real life problems because ang hirap ng buhay and you as a depart as the department of education you should teach something to the students about life dahil ang hirap ng buhay no ano Ang hirap ng buhay. You don't even talk about mental health and normalizing mental health awareness. Sa, t- sa tingin mo, tinuturoan tayo ng mental health sa subject na health. Yes, we do have a health subject. But is mental health being bring up, being brought up into that discussion? It's fucking not. And dummy unnecessary things that we have to force. Oh, oh, I said that. We are being forced. We are being coerced because we have no fucking choice. Tayong mga kabataan. Tayong mga kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan. I still believe in that fucking saying. But still, we are immersed in this bullshit educational system that teaches us nothing. The only thing that I find necessary is awareness when it comes to climate change and global warming and I have to AP Haraling panlipunan lang po ako na uh, na entertain na engage Opo no because dapat po prioritize natin na yung awareness ng mga kabataan these days to engage in social discussions in social problems dahil kailangan po nating aralin ang lipunan dahil ang lipunan po natin marami pong mali sa ating lipunan imbis po na ninonormalize natin na maging hobby ng mga kabataan ang mag-discuss about the news about the ano, like parang being updated to bring awareness instead of Alam mo kaya ganyan, kaya patok na patok yung mga mobile games eh. Because that is where students like me, like us, release our stress that we get from what? From where? From where? From fucking school. Schools are not fun anymore. Like, I'm not alone. I'm sure I'm not alone. But, Hindi na, hindi na nakaka-excite pumasok. Like, dati, I was lagging energized. Oh my God, I'm going to learn something new today. I'm going to learn something new that I'll probably apply in my life. But, bitch, can a Pythagorean theorem fucking solve the mystery of how am I gonna pay my taxes? How am I gonna pay my debts? How am I gonna save money? Kaya yung mga ibang tao, say it or sorry, not sorry po sa mga matatamaan. Yung ibang tao, parang after graduating college, um, napupunta na lang sila sa... Hindi, there's nothing wrong with the call center agencies because they have no fucking choices. They have option yun para sa kanila. So they are... They are mismatch. There's an educational mismatch. You finish a fucking tourism, um, tourism course, tourism. Oh, oh, you f- you fucking finish that for four years, but walang job opportunities, walang ganto, walang ganyan. You don't know how to deal with fucking life. So, parang dun ka na lang. Hindi ko nila lang lang ha. Pero parang kalang lang 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 siya. Alam mo yon, like, syempre, you fucking studied, you fucking paid your tuitions, you fucking prepared yourself for that job. But still, since the educational system failed us as youth, as Filipinos, we know nothing of the sort. Like, people are underemployed, people are unemployed, those people who are employed... Na pe- parang hindi yun yung profession talaga na gusto nila because our goal in school is to learn to learn new stuff not just new stuff but stuff that matters in our lives 
Hi DepEd, baka naman pong pwede nyo kaming turuan ng mas better po. Mas better po sana yung ilagay nyo sa curriculum nyo. For we are not I want to, for, for instance, I want to be a fucking chef. Like, I'm really sure about my passion, which is cooking. For example, I'm really sure about my passion, which is cooking. And you're going to make me go through school to teach me Pythagorean theorem? I mean, I know that Pythagorean theorem is easy. I know it's easy, but like, it's one of the most famous equations. So... And you're going to give me, to teach me Pythagorean theorem in which I have no use of? Parang, try natin sort out yung passion ng kabataan and let them nurture. Let's nurture and develop those skills and abilities that we can excel on. Parang, ituro nyo naman yung gusto naming matutunan, yung kailangan naming matutunan. Like, bago kayo magpasok sa curriculum, kailangan ba to ng kabataan, ng isang bata? Kailangan ba itong matutunan? Kailangan ba itong maano? Magagamit ba ito in the future? Hindi ba, hindi ba nagsasayang ng tuition yung mga magulang nito? Sa kapag tinuro natin ito sa kanila? Try to think about that, Dep Ed. You're fucking stupid. Yes, I said what I said. You're fucking stupid, Dep Ed. S sorry, not sorry about the profanity. But our educational system sucks. And... I've discussed it with friends that it really does suck, but yeah, I'm putting out to the public that we shouldn't. Ako kasi, I'm a, I don't care, I don't give a fuck mentality these days. But when it comes to my education, when I'm not fucking satisfied, I will never ever ever settle for less because I deserve the fucking very best. But the school that we have now is just serves as a fucking option. Because we are... Wala na tayong ibang option. Hindi nga choices ang school natin ngayon eh. That's our only option to be thought this... Uh, hindi naman talaga sila kailangan. Like, try mong, try mong i-remember kung may naalala ka nung grade 6, nung grade 5, nung grade 4, nung grade 7. That you can apply in your life right now do you know how to save money do you know the value of money do you know how to do this how to do that do you even know how to cook do you even know how to swim do you even know how to do Paano ka bang maglaba? Paano ka bang magluto? it may be a parent's job but not all people have parents plus the youth spends their time mostly like on school Pero wala silang natututunan na valuable, na worthwhile. That is all for today's episode. In conclusion, the educational system here in the Philippines, it's fucking kadiri. I am not degrading or saying that teachers who have the profession the who chose the profession which is teaching is bad at teaching that they chose the right the wrong track but no they didn't they're on the right track which is to teach the youth but what's parang mas maganda siguro if we're going to teach the youth valuable things things that will matter in the future things that our parents doesn't need to teach us We don't even have sex ed. I have a lot of fucking questions. But no, we don't have sex ed. We don't have sex education. We don't talk about this and that and this and those. So yun lang. In conclusion, the educational system and the education we have now. Yes, I'm talking about online slash modular fucking class, which is the fucking worst of class ever. It's unacceptable. And I'm, and as a student, I'm fucking unsatisfied. I hope, I know you are too. You are just too anxious to really say it out loud. Or you are, parang wala, ka na, wala, na, wala na kasi tayong choice. Wala na tayong choice. So we have to graduate this. We have to get, um, we have to moving up. We have to get these diplomas, these medals. 
that will ha they have no fucking value these days i mean that i was such a happy kid when i received gold medals but right now i'm fucking drained and we don't even talk about mental health awareness and mental health illnesses that is not even fucking thought in our school i just hope that we can empower and bring awareness to the youth and like empower them nurture them nurture our skills and listen to our pleas because i just can't i just get tired of this bullshit you know like hindi lang ako yon hindi lang math ang subject na walang pakinabang science magandang science like oh uh -uh. pero hindi kasi lahat nag excel sa mga ganong subject don't put us in a fucking box. Iba iba tayo. People may be dyslexic. They may they may have dyscalculia, which um, this allows them to comprehend mathematical expressions or to read and write. So please be fucking aware, Department of Education, kayo, di ba? Di ba ham and cheese, di ba? Then you naman magisep. Like think more. What's that fucking word? Basta think more. Think more better. Think more innovatively. Think more realistically. Yon, maging realistic naman kayo. Yun lang talaga yung aking bag. Be fucking realistic with what you are teaching us. Because, please make sure that we will be needing the things that you'll be teaching us, okay? Be fucking realistic. We need that. We need to be a realist right now. Okay, that is all for today's episode. I'm Queen Baby Love. Treat me like a queen, pump me like a baby, and love me like there's no other love. Goodbye. Hi, Dep Ed. Fuck you, ka. Wala kang kwenta. Okay? <laughs> Goodbye. I mean, I love all the teachers and the educators, so no hate. But Dep Ed, you suck. Okay? You suck. Goodbye.